Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Good morning, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Wow, I'm excited to be here with us. My name is Apostle Gabriel Chukwebuka Okafor. Glory be to God. Wow, today I bring you heaven. I bring you heaven is your time of rejoicing. That shame is cut off from you. Your days of glory has come. Hallelujah. No more pain for your healing has come in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. I bring you heaven and today we're going to look into the word of God that says from the topic your words are important your words are important you know we are in a world where things are going in different directions we have things going in the right directions we have things going in the wrong direction we have people that make plans and some somehow the enemy came and begin to and begins to hinder their plan and you have to understand, brothers and sisters, whether things are going in the right direction or in the wrong direction, know for sure that whatever you say is important. Don't be, so, don't be too emotional to make some kind of statement that ought not to be made. Don't become too excited to make some, some kind of statement that should not be made. And don't feel so down that you start making some kind of statement that should, that should be made. You know, So your words are important to where you are going. What are the things you are saying every day? Because the Bible says in Genesis that let every seed produce after its own kind. So what seed are you planting concerning your future? What are the things you are saying when you are, when you are full of joy of the Holy Ghost? Or when you are full of you know, that excitement because someone just got you a new thing or something just happened in your life? What are the things you say? Or maybe for example, when you are faced with, when you are buffeted with, with affliction from the enemy, where that plan that you had did not work out the way you thought, what are the things you say? That's what really matters. That's what really matters. So that today I bring the word of God that says, your words are important. Glory be to God. Now, you have to understand the reason why your words are important is that in this realm, of this earthly realm we are living, we have the spiritual realm that runs this earthly realm. And in this realm we are living, we have the kingdom of darkness and we have the kingdom of light. Now, demonic spirit, that's people of the, of, the, of the kingdom of darkness, they capitalize on your words that you are spoken wrongly to, to come against you. The same way, when you speak the right words, and the right words are the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the word of God. Because you are born of the living God, as a child of God. When you speak the right words, that means you, are spoken the God's, you have spoken God's word. Now, angels, the holy angels of the Lord are activated. They move when you speak those words. You see that? So your words are important to see yourself, build yourself up every day. To see yourself manifest the glory of the Lord that is in, within you. The words you speak are very important. That is why today when you hear things about curses, you hear things about blessings, these are the things that people, people have spoken for. That's why it's, very, it's a very serious thing for, for a person who is under someone's authority and then um, to have someone that is over, over them in authority to speak words that are not supposed to be over their lives. Those words, they might feel like, oh, it's just an ordinary word. No. Those words begin to affect that person's, you know, um, that person's um, thereabout. Because now the, the words I speak over you can attract favor to you. Somebody else might speak words. Maybe the person has an authority over you. When you see a child that's against the mom or against the father, and out of anger, the mom has spoken some words against that child. The child might feel like, oh, it's just a, a mere word, just an ordinary word. No. That word might be what is affecting that child from achieving he or her destiny. You see that? So the words you speak are very important. That's why I love it when I hear um, people, who, um, men of God and believers who have testified that though they came from a poor home, how their mom always, always, spoke, uh, always spoke words over them. I'm talking about the, the, the man, Pastor Jerry Eze. I love him so much. You know, I've heard his testimony, how his own mom used to, um, his, his late mom used to call, call him to get seated on a particular stool. They didn't have much, but the woman understood that by him sitting on that stool, he said, this come and sit uh, on a chair that's made for kings. And he, his mom spoke words over him. So I know a couple of men of God who have testified that the, based on the words that the mom spoke over them, today they are manifesting God's glory. That tells you and I, brothers and sisters, we have given the privilege to speak God's word over our children. We are giving the privilege to see God's word that the angels can run with. And the holy angels can see that those words are spoken, we are aligned with the will of God. And that child will manifest the glory of the Lord. So today, be mindful of the words you speak. Hallelujah. Now the book of Matthew 12 verse 37. Mark, Matthew 12 37. I'll read, from verse, I'll read it um, from the Passion Translation. It says, 
your very words will be used as evidence. And your words will declare you either innocent or guilty. Your very words will be used as evidence. Now, what is evidence? When you go to your for, um, in the courtroom, what are you asked? What are the evidence you have against this person? Right? That what is being asked in the courtroom. Right? Now, you have to understand that this earthly realm we are living is only a, a mirror of what is going to happen in the heavenly realm. The same way people go to the courtroom and present evidence against themselves, that is how in the realm of the spirit, the Lord God is a righteous judge. And before him, the evidence that are brought before him, you know, by the demonic spirit, by the, by, by the accuser of the brethren, who is called this um, devil, he's, a, he's called the accuser of the brethren. He brings evidence, you know, against God's children to deny them of their blessings. Why? God is a righteous judge. You see that? The same way as well that, that, that everything that stands before you that helps to bring you to the place of glory. The evidence can be the words that have been spoken over you by people that have authority over you. Maybe a word that your pastor has spoken over you because of something that you did. It touched the heart of your pastor. Just the way Isaac requested for, um, for Esau to, um, to, kill, um, um, the, um, to kill food and prepare for him. And Jacob went and did that. And Isaac spoke words over Jacob and blessed him. You see that? Now, that blessing, he became blessed. By the reason of that word, those words I spoke when he became blessed. That means the blessing of, of, of Isaac over Jacob was as an evidence in the courtroom that this man, Jacob, is blessed. And by the reason of that spoken word, today we know that Israel, which is, which, who is Jacob, now we know about what happened to Israel, how God chose Israel and blessed Israel. Hallelujah. The blessing that would have gone to Esau, though Esau had money, physical money, but spiritual blessing, he missed it. You see that? So, brothers and sisters, the words you speak can be used as an evidence for good or for evil. That way it says what? It says, declare you either innocent or guilty. There are people that have spoken words wrongly in their lives. It might even be your own words. You've said things like, oh, that was, you know, said, you said things like, oh, you don't think you can ever make it in life, or this, this, this. You're spoken some wrong words. That why the Bible says that when men say there's a casting down, you should say there's a lifting up. You should say there's a lifting up. Why? You are different. You are programmed differently. Don't speak like men in the world, so that they will not capitalize on your word and use it against you. Why was Job faced with those trials? Because Job has spoken words. He said, the things that I have feared has come upon me. So Job feared those things, and he spoke them forth. And also demonstrated in his action. Now, the name the accuser appeared before the Lord God. You see that? And used those words to ask for permission for the Lord to align to attack Job. And he attacked Job. Thanks be to God that Job prevailed. Job was a man that had a word of integrity. Hallelujah. So brothers and sisters, what are the words you are speaking? What evidence is being presented in the courtroom for you? That is why when you touch the heart of a man through giving, the man can speak words of, of blessings over you and declare, by reason of this giving you have done, you will never have any reason to cry over your children. That word can stand for you, my brother. That word can be what is going to guide you that your children, the enemy will try to attack them. No, because of that word is as an evidence in the courtroom of heaven. And just capitalize on that word and protect your children in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. So from today, be able to speak the right words. Where do you want to get to? What is your what, what, what is your vision? Where are you going? What are the, what, are, what, what do you think you are going? That's why you see the Lord God Almighty, when He saw the heaven, the, the earth, the earth was without void and you know what and, and darkness was over, over the face of the earth. God did not start analyzing the darkness. Oh, this is too dark. This place is like this. No, He simply spoke words and said, "Let there be light," and there was light. So, my brother and sister, you are born of God. You are born of the, of the living God. That means, the Bible said that you are gods. Hallelujah. That means what? You are born of God and you are gods. That means as the Lord God Almighty speaks, so you also ought to speak. Hallelujah. And by doing so, you begin to what? What are your clouds? You begin to attract the things that should be your destiny. Glory be to God. Yes, there may be attacks that will come from the, from the world. But because I have spoken the right words, this attack will align with the will of God. There are people that are currently going through things that are not according to the will of God. Why? They have not spoken the right words in their path. So they are going through things that ought not to have gone through. But by the time you speak the right words, you, that, you know that whatever that is happening around you, you are in the center of God's will for your life. So get to the word of God. How can you speak the right words? Get to the word of God. Get to God's word. Now Jesus said to us in the book of Matthew 4 verse 4. He says, Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. 
Have you come to that understanding to say yes? I don't live by bread alone. You know what it means to say I don't live by bread alone? Bread here yeah, it represents food. You know, you and I, we eat food every day, you know, so I can stay healthy. I can choose to fast as well. But at least in the past um, three months, we've eaten food. Why? Food fuels you to have energy for what you're doing. Now, the word of God is saying to you that you, uh, you ought to live by the God's word. That was just saying to us. So what the Lord said in the, in the scriptures, the same way you are conscious to eat what is good, eat balanced diet every day, eat fruits and vegetables, be conscious to get God's word into you and speak the word of God in your part. Fear your destiny with the word of God. Begin to speak God's word every day. Get to the scriptures and know what all I say concerning that matter. Begin to prophesy everywhere. Change that thing that, that, that's in front of you with, with the word of God. And how do you do it? Now, uh, just the way the book of, uh, the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 3 says, Ecclesiastes 11 verse 3 says, If clouds are full of water, they pour rain on the earth. If clouds are full of water, so keep watering your cloud. That thing I want to change, speak God's word over it. And I declare for you that everything I've hindered you in time past, by reason of today's message, as I bring you heaven, I declare that the holy angels are dispatching your favor. Yes, the people, the saints in heaven and saints on earth, they will move in your favor and turn things around for the name of Jesus. I bring you good news, brother and sister. That sickness is cast out from your name of Jesus. I declare that whatever has troubled you before, troubles you no more. Your day of laughter has come. Yes, for laughter comes in the morning. Your night hour is ended. I declare that delay is over in the name of Jesus. You are going to be a person of testimony. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Now to round this up, I will tell you this in the book of Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21. Proverbs 18 21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. That is why men in the dark world, they actually use a tongue to cause death by cursing people. You see that? You, in the place of light, use your words and bless many. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Do you love to eat the fruit of good life? Speak it forth. Do you love to eat the good of, of um, the fruit of healthy, um, of, of, of health? Speak it forth. Declare God's word concerning you. By his stripes you are healed. Declare God's word concerning you. That Jesus indeed has bought your sickness, your, 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 your every, every works of death have been taken away from you by the, by the reason of what Christ has have done on the cross of Calvary, by his resurrection and, and, and by, by his death on the cross and um, burial, resurrection and ascension, you are set free in the name of Jesus. Declare that concerning you. For your children, lay hand on your child every morning. And before your child goes to school, lay hand on your child. Declare that that child is blessed. The, the child, your, your child indeed, you understand whatever is being taught in, in class, your child is protected in the name of Jesus. Declare, lay hands on things around you. Keep speaking words. In your business, when you come to your business place, don't just open your shop and begin to have to sell things. No. Declare words about your business. See, you must be mindful to engage in the place of the Spirit. Hallelujah. So from today, I declare that you'll be a person who is mindful indeed to speak only life and see God's glory manifested in your life in the name of Jesus. As the Lord has made us spirit giving lives you will be a person that everywhere you are you, are, you will plant the love of God in the name of Jesus. I remain Apostle Gabriel Chuku Ebuka Okafo call us and we'll be, we'll be here to answer your phone call call these numbers 081-055-44424 I'll take the number again 081 Zero five five four 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 two four. We want to hear your testimony, and you want us to pray for you concerning any matter. The Lord God we serve is able to intervene. Call us, and we'll be we'll joining in a place of prayer. And you feel led in your spirit that you want to sow some seed that will enable us to do the work we are called to do. We have programs that are piled up for us that the Lord is leading us to do. Call us, and we're here to give you our account details to release the seed that blesses you in the name of Jesus. I will give you number again. The number the numbers are. 081-055-44424 We hope to hear from you. You will testify. Hallelujah. You will testify. Call in.